Okay, I'm actually not for sure what to expect from this man for two reasons. One, um, from the bio in your, um, yeah, from, from the bio in your Instagram, which I don't want to read it just to call you out and stuff, but I mean, from your bio, I'm just going to expect a lot out of you. And two, um... Actually, no, I think that's my only reason, just from your bio, so I'm just expecting a lot out of you. So, I'll see how that works. Oh, oh, that lag though, okay. So, apparently, I killed him, then he activated his splashdown, and died before he even, before his splashdown. Or, no, before the netco was just like, oh, hey, uh, he was supposed to die, not activate his splashdown. But, I mean, hey, at least he can have his, uh, special save a little bit. Rather than, uh... Oh, shoot. Ooh. Ooh, okay, almost had you. In a way. Ooh, okay. Okay, alright. I, uh, again, I don't know what to expect from you, so I'm gonna just, uh, let's just keep on going, shall we? We. Oh, shoot. Whoa. I actually thought I killed him, but no, I only landed three shots, which is different than landing four shots with an end zap. Because, uh, it's an end zap. It's meant to land four to five shots, not freaking three. That would have been overpowered. Imagine a weapon, right? That, um... No, actually, let, yeah, let's think about it, actually. Let's imagine a weapon where the, uh... It kills you in three hits... It could be any range you can think of, right? Just think of any range. Mostly, uh... I'm thinking of, like, a mid-ranger. Just to be fair. A little bit fair, at least. Imagine it kills you in three hits. And it has the fire rate of an arrow spray. Like, imagine that. Imagine that. That would be the biggest threat in the entire game. Like, period. It would be the strongest frontliner weapon. It would be more powerful than the, um... I was gonna say it would be more powerful than um wow I'm just losing my words okay it would be a much more powerful frontliner slayer than the Kensa sloshing machine or the sloshing machine as a whole so that's what makes it kind of scary you know what I'm saying those gear abilities though they look kind of interesting I don't know why you need a uh, thermal ink though because that's kind of useless because it's like you know what, I'm just gonna shut up. But like, just imagine that, which kind of reminds me, this is a weapon that SRB2 was thinking of making, where, where, if he thought of an idea for a weapon, and the developers of Splatoon were just like, all right, we're taking it. He was thinking of a weapon that had the range of an E leader, the strength in, the strength of an H3, and a, uh, the accuracy of an, you know, a sniper in general. Or an H3, I don't know. But, the con with it is that it has to have a horrendous fire rate. So, a long range weapon that does three kill- three hits, does- turfs really good, and has a horrendous fire rate. Oh, shoot, oof, my commentary just, uh, <clears throat> it just turned off for a second. I was thinking of something that kind of hit my mind. I was just thinking of, um, fans these days. Have you ever get one of those fans where they're like, um, they're like fans of your content, but they're like some, but they're like on purpose, like disrespectful about you? You ever get one of those fans? Well, I'm not going to call out who are the ones I think it is. Although if, uh, some random user, if you're watching this, it's not you. I'll tell you that. I do know that you're being very sarcastic with your, uh, stuff. So... But there are some of those fans where you don't know if they're even being sarcastic, or if they're being literal. Oh. That's a... That's a quick GG. Actually, no, I'm gonna get really greedy. I'm gonna... I wanna kill you one more time. Just because I'm greedy. That actually worked. Okay. Oh, I can climb up here. I didn't know that, but okay. But I mean, Rainmaker matches these days, they're meant to end quickly, so... You know, no biggie. So, uh, a GG. And a Yee. Prove me.
who is also another uh, friend, or a little squiddling who wants, who friend requested to do a 1v1 in, um, on, from Instagram, so, yeah. Okie dokie. Um, I don't know what I was thinking for this round, but I mean, whatever. I'm trying to think of something to talk about with you guys, so that we're, we're not just here with a, um, what was I gonna say, um, Hey, uh, we're playing Splatoon 2 1v1, let's talk about literally everything that's happening. Oh my goodness, let's see, this guy's already headed for the zone already, and I'm all, and I headed for the zone too. Ooh, ooh, and then there's a post up there that says, be you with a heart on it. I think I should be encouraged to be myself. No, I'm trying to think of something to talk about, because I think that's why my 1v1 videos are genuinely not watched. Because I hardly have anything to talk about other than the actual match itself. I also love how my point sensors don't get disintegrated from the Booyah Bomb, unlike all the other subs that get disintegrated. Oh, oh, I got you. I got you. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah. So, one thing I was thinking of, or one thing I was uh, thinking about talking about, I think, was on the lines of, like, the many people that friend request- not friend requested- requested a 1v1 that came from Instagram, like, there's actually a lot of people that have, uh, requested 1v1s from Instagram, and I think there's actually this one 1v1 that I was supposed to, you know, get to, but, like, I missed out because I wasn't, like, properly reading it, so it's like, big oof. Oh, shoot. Oh, ooh. Oh, wow, you're close. Actually, hold up. I'm gonna make you comfortable for a second. Okay, never mind. I made you too comfortable. Huh. Oof. Okay. <laughs> yeah, jump around like that. Enjoy your, uh, your, uh, little play zone. Uh, yeah, let's just call it a play zone, because I can. Okay, you got your a boo yeah boom Oh, you're coming over there. Okay. Well, I have the high ground. So, yeah. This is when I need main power up. I don't know why I decided to go full OC on you, uh, Ink Sona on you, and all that types of stuff. Whoa. Okay, might. I don't think we need to touch people right there. Like, let's talk about it, fam. How about that? Ha 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 ha. He he he. But yeah, a lot of people have a. Uh, a lot of people that wanted one v one v one me came from Instagram. So, um, Yeetus. I'm also trying to plan on how I'm gonna do 1v1s on Super Smash Bros. I'm thinking of like maybe when there's a day where I'm not choosing to do a 1v1, then um, I just choose the. And when I feel comfortable on the day, then I do a Super Smash Bros. live stream 1v1. Mostly because I feel like that the live streams might work in a way, I'm not for sure. And also, it might be a thing where, um, you know, I'm not gonna have it to where you can only 1v1 me once. But you can 1v1 me as many times as you want on a live stream. But like after you do 1v1 me on that live stream, you have to wait until the next live stream kind of thing. That's what I'm thinking of. I mean, what do you guys think about those plans if you're actually watching this? Who knows, man? Uh, who knows? Who a who a knows? Who a who a knows? I feel like I'm talking too quiet. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm, I just feel like those days be happy. You know how you feel like you talk too quiet, the microphone doesn't want to pick it up. It's just like, oh, I'm gonna slap you in the face. <laughs> It just be like that these days. It just be like that. I am not for sure <sighs> what I was going with this, but something in the back of my mind. I was looking for a weapon. I wanted to pick something that wasn't a Spire Shot Pro, because again, I'm I want to get into the habit of actually playing with any weapon I feel like playing with. Like you know that SRV two is just like. Yeah, you know what, guys? I'm so good, I have the capability of playing with whatever weapon I feel like playing with. Which is kind of true, I think. I'm trying to figure out how that works, so I'm trying my best to see what it's like to play with other weapons that I don't really often play with. And one of them happened to be the Splatbrella. Because I, I was looking through my page like, I need to find a weapon I want to play with. So that it isn't a Splatshot Pro, you know, for fun and stuff. And then I found this, the Splat Bro and I was just like, oh hey, a weapon that I like, but for some reason I just don't play with for some reason. Let's play with this weapon. Which I don't know how this is going to work, because they've weakened the shield. 
So, I think pretty much every weapon but the Bamboozler, and I think a few exceptions like his Splatter Shot, actually, will tear the, uh, the Splat Brawl out really quick. Or maybe it could just me with, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, he's got his uh, Splashdown. Okay, never mind. He didn't use it in time. So lucky me. <laughs> and yeah. Um, I want to launch my Ink Storm right now. And yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Distract him. Distract him. Oh no, I was gonna say distract him, but then I died. So I didn't distract him. You enjoying a little playtime on the tower? I hope you are. Because, uh, it's a one time opportunity. <laughs> okay, so this, and plus, the Splat Bro, what I think is really funny about it is that it doesn't even have the range of the, um, the Splatter Shot itself. It, I think it's like literally inches, literally inches below midline. Shoot, okay. I ran out of ink, and then I was in a pickle. This guy is having some weird situations. Like, he- I just saw him get on the tower, and then he got off the tower from lag or something. I don't know. Alright, what can I do? I don't want to gain him- I don't want to let him gain too much. Which is, uh, oh my goodness. Okay, so this guy's actually doing something. Um... Where you go? Oh shoot, you're going up there. Okay. Ooh, so he wanted to be aggressive. Which, um, I guess it's good for me when you fight someone who wants to be aggressive with you. Because then, uh, actually, no, I'm going to put on the tower. He's got a lot of leeway with this, uh, ground-ish. So I'm going to just do this. Maybe this will work. Wherever you are, you are over there. <gasps> oh, no! I wanted to, like, hold my shield up so I can actually defend myself from it. But then I, but I let go. Because, um, actually, no, why did I let go? That was pretty idiotic of me. Wow, I feel so bad. I literally could have avoided that, but no, I chose to just shoot one more time. Not sure why, maybe it was my OCD with the, uh, the coverage on the tower. Making me really triggered with the fact that, um, oh, I made him, ooh, okay, okay, okay. Does you know there's a sprinkler on there? I hope not. Oh shoot, he's coming in aggressive. Ooh. Oh no! See, this is the problem. Now he out- Because he outranges me, this makes it a little bit more difficult. And by a little bit, I mean much more difficult. So... Oh shoot, I don't know what I want to do against this man. All I can do is get him from up here and hope this works. Oh, come on. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I need to practice more with Splat Brella. Because, my me, that was very awkward. That was very awkward. Very, very, very awkward indeed. Where are you going? Going from up here? Alrighty then. Do you have special save? I don't think so. Oh, wow, the sprinkler's actually working. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Dang, I can't believe because I decided to plant the sprinkler in like the weirdest way possible, it actually worked. Okay, all right, now I know what I should be doing in tower control. If someone's climbing up the tower and you know where they're climbing from, uh, just bother them with a sprinkler. Boom, win. Even though he had more splats than me. Wow. GG. Okay, one thing I just realized, um, what was I gonna say, um, oh, I've only seen this man's rank in both Splat Zones and Tower Control, I mean, we did play Rainmaker, but I wasn't paying attention, but, are you S in every mode? I'm presuming, are you S in every mode? That's what I'm just gonna go with, because if you are, then, well, I'll give you one thing. At least you actually play ranked. At least that. 
unlike everyone else that I pretty much fought, or a lot of other people, where they're only like C minus or something or C. Like I, I don't want to be rude to you guys who are those ranks, but that's just me saying just play more ranked. It literally changes you. Like if like um, I wouldn't say turf war isn't the best way to practice. Like maybe if you're practicing something very specific, maybe it is a good way to practice. But um, rank mode, ranked mode, like literally, you learn from it. Like you learn a lot. Like if you want to learn how this weapon works or that weapon works, then uh, oh, what the? Oh, oh no. Oh, what in the? What in the world was that? Um, <laughs> what was that? Um, wait, was that coming from me or was that coming from him? Because I think that was coming from him. My internet connection obviously isn't perfect. Like, it no longer is. Like, it used to have been, but now it no longer is for some reason. Like, I don't, I'm like almost incapable of doing streams now. But, like, what was that? I'm confused. I shot you f more than 10 times. Not exaggerating. I was about to exaggerate. I was gonna say like 5,000 times, but I don't wanna be that guy who just exaggerates too much. I shot you more than 10 times, right? You shot me a billion times. Okay, now I was exaggerating right there. And yet, neither of us died. Like, what? Get shot, like, who knows how many. It honestly, it looked like as if you were shooting me like 9 to like 15 times. Like, I'm on, I'm being for real. You shot me. So many times, you died first because of your lag. Like, I'm honestly so confused what happened. I don't know what is happening. I don't know if I should take it as a bad thing, which I think I will, because that was kind of scary. And yeah. So, um... Uh, I wasn't going to say, um... I don't know, that was just really weird. <laughs> Well, uh, can we talk about it, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I would like to talk about it, but I don't know if you do, Mr. Uh, Pro Wumi. Pro Wumi. Pro Wumi. I know you have numbers at the back of your name. I, don't, I forgot what it was. Shoot. Was it, uh, was it 30? Oh, no, it was 23. Uh, I, w I don't want to say I was close, but I was somewhat there with the number 3, at least. I thought it was 30. Maybe it was at one point, and I'm just being weird. You know what? I'm just a weird guy in general. You know, the more I think about it, how are they going to fairly nerf the, uh, Splattershot Pro? Like, everyone's been talking about, like, yo, the Splattershot Pro needs to get nerfed. It's too overpowered with main power-up and stuff. And then you have the Kenso one with Booyah Bomb, which, that's actually really good. And, uh, yeah. So how do we nerf the Splattershot Pro? That has every two did suggested, just instead of considerably nerfing it, just rework how um, main power up actually works. And just make it to where instead of it multiplying or adding up the damage to it, just make it to where it, um... Ooh, that was cool. If only you had burst bombs, that would have actually been more slick. That has every two was thinking of, like, instead of making it just do more damage, just make it to where it had more range. And, or a little bit more range and better turfing ability which were the problems that the Splattershot Pro had so instead of just giving it something to make the Splattershot Pro ridiculous just give it something to make the Splattershot Pro have less problems with it like that's what that SRB2 is suggesting which it could work maybe I don't know Depends if Nintendo's gonna go out of their go out of their way to completely we work we rework a weapon, a weapon's main power ability. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm like losing my English here and there. But you know what? Good game to you, Pro Wumi. That was amazing. See you later, my dude.